Hi guys, I'm Jelly, a Jelly Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my December TBR. In December, I am going to be participating in the December Diversity Bingo. I will leave a link to the picture down below. And in that picture, there is all the information about the host and the bingo card, obviously. I'm going to do a diagonal bingo and I will talk about the, the topics I'm taking on and the books I'm taking on with that topic. The first spot I'm taking on is the non-Western cultural fantasy. I went with the book The Three Body Problem by Season Lu. This is not really a fantasy, it's more of a science fiction, but it's obviously non-Western. It is a book by a Chinese author. It's the first book in the Remembrance of Earth's Past series. This book is set against the backdrop of China's Cultural Revolution. It is about a military camp that sends up a signal to the aliens, and the aliens see that signal and decide to invade Earth, whereupon people start forming camps and trying to prepare themselves against his attack by the aliens. The next book I decided to take on was a Muslim, a main character, and for this one I went with a comic, namely Miss Marvel, Volume 1, No Normal. I normally don't read comics, but for this one I decided to make an exception because I have heard some really good things about the Miss Marvel comics, and it obviously has a a Muslim main character and I also decided to choose for a comics because it's something short and I really wanted to read something really short and quick to get through for a change. The next part was a free space so I can choose what to read and I decided to, to go for Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall. This book follows a girl who has agoraphobia and OCD, she can't even leave her house to get her groceries and then she meets a guy called Luke who decides to help her and this book follows them and basically Rose trying to maybe let Luke into her life. The next spot was science fiction or fantasy with an LGBTQIA plus main character. I went with Ash by Melinda Lowe. It's a Cinderella retelling with a lesbian relationship. The last spot was a book with an asexual a romantic main character and I went with Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon Maguire. I've heard so many good things about this book and since I identify as asexual I decided I really need to read a book about it because I've never read a book about an asexual mate character. So I am going to read it. It's very short and I have heard nothing but good things. So I am very excited to read this diverse book. Then I have three other books aside from this challenge on my TBR. The first one is Inchy Sweet by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. This is a, an adult romance novel. I recently reread Kiss an Angel by Susan Elizabeth Phillips and it was the first book I ever read by her. But I read it for the first time a couple years ago and when I reread it, I realized how much I actually loved it. And I went through Susan Elizabeth Phillips' other books and I decided to read this one. It's about a woman who in high school was looked as at as the popular girl but now 15 years later she is kind of dried up she doesn't have any money and no luck and she doesn't know or what to do and when she comes back to her hometown she discovers that everybody else is living her past life and the other books are Jane Austen books I'm going to be reading Lady Susan by Jane Austen and Mansfield Park. Lady Susan is an 80 page novella about a woman looking for a second marriage for herself while pushing her daughter together with a man that doesn't really, that isn't really appropriate for her. Mansfield Park follows a girl called Fanny Price who is living with her cousins instead of her parents who are living in poverty. And then the Crawfields and the family arrive in the neighborhood and bring a whole lot of adventure with them. Mansfield Park is a behemoth of a book. It is over 500 pages and it is a classic. So I will get through this so slowly. Um, so I think one really big book for this month is more than enough. So this is my December TBR. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them and what you are going to read in December. I would love to know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.